Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. It's about eight o'clock on a Monday morning. I'm just getting ready to start work for the day. I actually want to go on a walk this morning and just get a bit of fresh air before I start work. So today I'm working on a client for my agency. So taking content and scheduling their posts on social media. That is my plan for basically the whole of today. And then I'm also catching up with my own editing. I have a few things going on this week and I thought it'd be really nice to spend a few days together on Wednesday. Wednesday I've got an event and on Thursday I have a styling appointment. I'm filming a lot of content this week to get ahead of myself because next week I have such an exciting event and it's down in London as well so I feel like I never go down to London really so it feels like a big deal and I'm just really excited for it. So I'm doing a lot of prep this week so I'm ahead of my work for next week. But yeah, this weekend was such a nice weekend. The uni girls came up, stayed over for the weekend and it was just so nice to see them. Halfway through the weekend, I was thinking I really should vlog this but it was just so nice to enjoy the moment with them. We went for a walk and went for lunch on the Saturday and then we went out on the Saturday night for dinner and drinks. I haven't seen each other since like August last year. So it was just so lovely to be together. And one of the girls is actually moving to Leeds. So I can't wait for that. We said we want to book like a wholesome weekend away in the summer, maybe to the Lake District or something. So we'll see if that makes it out of the group chat. But yeah, I think that's all. I also had my hair cut the other day, which I probably should have vlogged as well. I feel like I forget that I need to vlog now. Like it's just such a new thing to me. I just go to these things and forget to take my camera. I'm gonna try and vlog more this week and next week, just cause I have more going on. Usually I'm not gonna lie, I spend the week at home working and taking content so my weeks aren't actually that exciting anyway i hope you enjoy this vlog and hopefully i can film a lot for you this week okay i'm just going on a walk and tell me why i literally look like a football manager this coat i got it from zara a couple of years ago and i used to wear it for uni i'd literally just put my hood up when it was raining walk from the station to uni and it was a perfect coat for that but i can't i can't see past the football manager looks so i've just got back from my walk honestly that was so nice to get out in the fresh air before work i think i want to make that more of like an everyday habit when you work from home you can get into a routine of just like spending your spare time before you start work on like social media or doing something else but i literally with my agency i work on social media all day so it's a bit consuming when you're spending all day on there so it's nice to just have a bit of a detox in the morning, go outside, get some fresh air. And I was going to listen to a podcast this morning, but then I actually just thought I spend so much time consuming content that actually I just wanted to like hear the birds and just hear nature. And it was really nice. So I'm definitely going to do that more often. Anyway, I am starting work on one of my clients today. So the client that I work for is the longest client I've had. When I was at uni, we had a task to create a digital marketing plan for any brand of our choice. So I chose a company that my mum actually found on This Morning. So they were featured on This Morning's Lust List a few years back. They're called Okiki Skincare. Antonia and her mum run the business and Guys, their products, they're all handmade by her mum and they're literally, they're just so good. The candles and diffusers are my favourite. I've actually got one of the diffusers just here. Everyone who comes to my house compliments the smell of the diffusers. My mum has bought quite a few of the candles before for presents and they're honestly like no other candle that I've smelled before. But that is the client that I'm working on today and I'm creating content for them and then I'll be scheduling all their posts later on in the day for the month really. I work like a month in advance on my clients. It just means that all the content's ready to go and I can get organised for the month ahead. So I've just broken off from work, make some lunch and I wanted to show you what I've made. So this is fried eggs and then it's mushrooms, tomatoes and I've cut up some sausage as well for this one. You basically cook it all in one pan and add Cajun spice to it. Oh my god guys I can't tell you how nice it is. It's really quick, really easy and you literally don't even need many ingredients. I think I first saw Grace Beverly using Cajun with mushrooms on her Instagram story and I can't tell you it's life-changing. I didn't used to like mushrooms that much now I literally love them. Just wanna dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Just stay 
the night and to leave when it's light not the I've just made this little dessert to have for lunch as well and it's just Greek yogurt and then it is frozen raspberries and blueberries and some strawberries as well and then some honey. I have a really sweet tooth so this is a nice little sweet treat throughout the day but it's still healthy. Before I go back to work, I just need to schedule a post on Like To Know It. I have an ad coming out with Club L London and I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see how I link my outfits because I try to link all of my outfits on Like To Know It. A lot of the clothes that I've got, I bought two years ago or even longer or I bought last year or they're out of stock and they're from this year and obviously it's really hard to link those pieces because you'll click on them and then they'll be out of stock so there's kind of no point in linking those but a lot of the time I do link similar alternatives on like to know it with this Club L London ad the dresses are all new so they will be the exact dresses that I link I always get asked about the same pieces on my Instagram and a lot of them are Zara so you can't link Zara items on like to know it because they're not a partner of like to know it so when it comes to Zara I'll either link some Thing that's really similar from a different brand or I'll put the reference in the caption on my social media post. So this is how I would post on Like To Know It. On Like To Know It you would type in my username which is Lydia Fleur Fashion and then it should come up with my profile here. Then it will come up with all of my posts. So here in the collections we've got staples, um, my IG reels and Valentine's Day and winter outfits, black outfits, summer. So these collections are essentially all different posts that I've posted on Like To Know It, but I've sorted them into collections to make it easier for you to find them. So going down, it'll show you the trending videos and then also it'll show you my product categories. So these are all products that are in my wardrobe, so you can essentially shop my wardrobe without having to click on the different posts. Again, if anything that I have is sold out, I'll link something super similar so you'll still be able to recreate the look. But going down, these are all the posts that are on there at the moment. So these are all my recent reels and if you click onto one of them, you then scroll down and it'll show you the exact products that I'm wearing. It'll also show you the related products. So these are products where I haven't managed to find the exact item because it's sold out or it's on a brand that isn't stocked on Like To Know It. So I've linked something super similar instead. Hopefully this just helps as inspiration to be able to recreate outfits that I'm wearing on my Instagram. So usually I will write keywords so when you're on my profile here, you can actually search in this bar and you can search, say if you wanted to search, if I do a little black dress. It's then going to show you every post where I'm wearing a little black dress. Anyway, going on to this Club L London ad, here I've written loads of keywords for you to search and I've also put my discount code there. So when I've got to this point, I'd then go on to add products and I would go on to brand sites. So these are all the brands that are stocked on Like To Know It. I know that Club L London are stocked on there because I've used them that many times. So I'll go onto the website and then I will search for the dresses, although I can't actually remember the names of all of them. I know they're all part of the bridesmaid collection, so I'm gonna go on there and then I'm going to filter it to black dresses. So I filtered it to the black dresses now, so I should be able to find the ones that I'm wearing. This is one of the dresses that I'm wearing, so I'll click on it and I'll select it. I then add product to post. I then go back and find the other dresses. Once I've added the three dresses or however many outfits I'm wearing to the post, I then cross and say next. Then this is where I choose whether it's a exact product or a similar product. So it's really clear for you guys to know exactly what I'm wearing. So these are all the exact dresses that I'm wearing. So I then go to add to post and I then publish. So I'm actually just trying to be really organised and get that post on Like To Know It for when I post the actual ad tonight. But I hope that helps to make it clear about where you can find my outfits and what it means when I've tagged exact ones and then also related products because I know I was a bit unsure when I first started using the app what was what. Hi guys, so it's now Tuesday. I've been filming all day. So I've been filming loads of reels and TikToks. If I bulk film loads of reels together, it literally takes 
like six hours to film so I've filmed a lot of content which I can now edit throughout the week and have loads of content ready to post but me and my boyfriend are going to York for the night we decided this morning that we'd just go and book a hotel we have a voucher that my boyfriend's mum bought me for my birthday in August and we've still not used it so we thought why not go and we can go for a nice meal and have a night away together and we've got like 10 minutes before we're going so I'm gonna put all my stuff in a bag it shouldn't take me too long I honestly overpack every time so I'm just gonna take what I need and hopefully be as quick as possible this is what I'm wearing the place we're going I've actually never been there before but I think it's like a restaurant pub kind of vibe I've asked my mum she's been before and she said it's quite dressy so this is what I'm thinking to wear my heels are from H&M but I got them quite a while ago the skirt is actually a score and it's from Zara and then this top's from Quiz I actually just thought the other option might be a little bit too cold because the trench coat literally doesn't have any lining in so i've tried this on instead i've put a belt on which i much prefer and since it's black it didn't really go with the tan heels and the tan bag i really need to get myself a brown belt but i've put this wool coat on instead because i think that's going to be a lot warmer this is from whistles and then this bag is from mango i would show you the overall look i'm going to pack this in my bag because i'm just going to wear some leggings to go in the car so i'm nice and comfortable PR company in Leeds and it's at Harvey Nichols so it's really exciting we got back this morning from York and it was such a nice day if you're going to York I really recommend the hotel that we stayed at it's called Clementine's Townhouse Hotel I think we literally found it so last minute it was a really good deal as well I did take some clips on my phone so hopefully they've come out good and I'll put them in the vlog so you can see the hotel and restaurant that we went to as well it was called Star in the City which I've heard about a lot but I've never actually been and it was really nice like the food was really good so again if you're going to York I'd recommend going there as well so I'm going to do my makeup with you before the event and I thought I could just talk you through some products that I'm really liking at the moment and what's in my routine I think around Christmas time I got gifted this Tatcha Dewey skin cream from space nk and guys it's so good it brings out a real like glow to your skin yeah i think the event's quite casual i don't actually know what to wear but i was going to do glam makeup and then i thought you know what I, to be honest i don't have time <laughs> so before i film my reels i also film trying some new products for my instagram and tiktok and actually in the video i tried out this vive skin nova instant radiance primer this is so good. There is no colour on it, so I'm guessing this is the only shade that they do. And again, this just adds such a nice glow to your skin. My friends are all laughing at me at the weekend because I've got the TikTok light. So I bought it from TikTok um, probably like a month or two ago. But it's so good. Like, look at the brightness. So I'll show you it without. This is the lighting without. And then this is with the TikTok light. So, but I'm going to go in with the elf halo glow liquid filter this is shade two so it's fair to light to say it's shade two it is still quite i would say like yellow tone it's nice for like a base underneath foundation for halo glow and charlotte tilbury flawless filter i always like to use my fingers to like melt it into my skin i just think the finish of it comes out so much better than if you use a beauty blender i think i mentioned earlier in the vlog that I got my hair cut and i've really been struggling styling it it's only that much shorter than it was before but I don't know, I feel like when you get your hair cut, it's always hard to sort of get the hang of like how to style it. Recently, I've been using the GHD Soft Curl Tong and it's really, really good. I'm now going to go in with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation and I think this is shade Deauville. I'm really not using that much because like I said, I want to go for kind of like an everyday natural look so to blend it in i'm using a damp beauty blender then i'm going to go in with the maybelline instant anti-age eraser 
This is a product that I've used for years now and I do really love it. I don't know about you guys, but I try to get like eight hours sleep a night and somehow I still have bags under my eyes. I'm just using another beauty blender now to blend that all out. Sometimes I actually use my hands to blend my concealer out. Again, I just think it's a nice like natural finish. I'm then gonna go in with the Color Lash Clear Mascara. I just use this for my eyebrows. So I just brush them up like that. I actually need my eyebrows doing soon but it works really well even if they're a little bit bushy it's literally so cheap you can get it from boots i get mine from amazon a lot of the time and super jug it's literally like two pounds then next i'm gonna go in with this contour stick by charlotte tilbury i feel like my cheekbones are not that defined so when i do contour i actually tend to go like instead of like up here i tend to go like down here all of these products are linked on my like to know it as well over these last few days my instagram has grown quite a lot i think i've had about four viral reels in space of like well since last week so if you have come over from instagram then hello it's nice to meet you i feel like you can't see the contour just because i've not put that much on but hopefully you can kind of see that it lifts your face a little bit and then going in with the charlotte tilbury the beautiful skin sun-kissed glow bronzer I just kind of position the bronzer on the tops of my cheekbone. I kind of go over where I've done the contour, but basically I put it on where the sun would hit my face. So for blush, I'm gonna go in with the iconic London, I think this one is Rose Riot. It's a little bit in your face, but I usually mix this with, what's it called? No, sorry, this one isn't Rose Riot, this one is Pow power pink i think yeah so this one's power pink and i usually mix this with rose fryer again for blush i kind of just put it where the sun would hit my face sorry guys i just put my tea in the oven because i realized the time i'm just going in with this lip plumper so i was actually going to go in with um an eyeshadow palette but i think i've decided that i'm going to go in with some bronzer just on an eyeshadow brush i feel like this will tie in the makeup a little bit more i feel like you can see here that it just adding the bronzer just adds like a little bit of depth to my eyes i'm going to go in with the nyx micro brow pencil this is in shade brunette this is literally my ride or die brow pencil like I have not found one as good as this. I always start like underneath here and then I curve it round with an arch on top and then I just fill it in. Okay, I feel like that is pretty much my eyebrows done. The product that I tried for the first time yesterday was this Milk Setting Spray. I really like this one. I've actually run out of my Iconic London, I think it's like Ready Prep Set Glow and I love that one so much. I mentioned last vlog that I'm using the UK Lash Serum and it's made such a difference. So first of all, I go in with a white eyeliner for my bottom waterline. This really helps to brighten your eyes. And then I'm gonna go in with the Ico Black Magic Liquid Liner. I feel like I've definitely got better at wing liner over the years. I used to really, really struggle with it. I'm then gonna curl my lashes one more time. I'm gonna go in with the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. I think this is just the normal black one. I've been using the Laura Mercier. I think it's Caviar Volume Mascara. The only downside to it is that there's no fallout, but it does leave like black under eyes when you take your makeup off, which I, it's like a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> I wore this one yesterday and when I took my makeup off, I only used cleansing balm to take my makeup off and it actually took all of it off. So I think I prefer this one. I feel like you can see there, this eye is done and this one isn't. So there's quite a bit of a difference and I just feel like the UK lash definitely has help. I'm just gonna do my other eye and then I'm basically done. Okay my camera actually just said that it was overheating so I turned it off for a little bit but I've done both eyes now and I'm just gonna finish with this Rimmel lip liner in I think it's Spice. Okay, so that is the finished makeup look. I'm running a little bit late <laughs> but what's new? So I'm going to go in with the Olaplex, I think this is the bonding oil, yeah, and I'm just going to run this through, in fact I'm going to take my roller out first and we'll see how that's come out, always like a make or break moment and I just feel like this one's not going to go right, let's have a look, oh do you know what, oh, do you know what, it's actually come out with quite a lot of volume, okay that's good. That was actually good. So yesterday when I did my hair, I did two rollers, but it's so much better with one roller. I use a little bit of the bonding oil. And when I say a little bit, it literally is like a tiny little bit. 
and I just rub that together with my hands and then just comb it through my hair. It just adds such a nice shine and it smells really nice as well. So I'm gonna go and eat my dinner and then I'm gonna get, I need to get my bags ready because I'm staying at my boyfriend's for a few days and then I need to get changed. Hey guys, so I've chosen my outfit. I've gone for something really simple because Honestly, my brain was not working when I was trying to pick an outfit. So I've literally just gone for some Abercrombie jeans, a Zara vest top, like a really simple vest top. And then this blazer from Whistles. I've used bobbles to keep the sleeves up, which is a little hack that I always do because I always prefer the look of an outfit with the blazer and the sleeves rolled up. And then I've just got this little bag from Mango as well. To be honest, this was my outfit for the Trafford Centre with trainers, but I'm just gonna wear a different t-shirt tomorrow. And since I'm going to my boy friends it means I can pack less to go to his but yeah I think this is kind of the vibe for tonight I'll let you know how the event goes tomorrow and catch you there That's what I struggled to do with the soft curl tongue. I only got it like not that long ago, so I've been trying to get the hang of it. But because I've heard people say like you should do it alternatively. I don't need promises, honestly, no big deal. As long as you can show me a good time, I don't care. Oh, 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 oh. Just wanna dance, want a simple romance Nothing more, nothing less from you No ties oh, no. no price oh, no. no need oh, no. So free I don't care what you Hello guys, so it is now Saturday evening I have missed a little bit out of this week. I just need to get more used to vlogging, basically. I forget to get the camera out or I forget to get my phone out. So I really do apologize for that, but I thought I'd just finish this vlog by sitting down with you and catching you up on the week. I think the last time I spoke to you was on Wednesday evening before I went to the event. So that was a really good event. It was for the launch of Leeds Pride. And after the event on Wednesday, I had my GHD appointment on Thursday in Manchester at the Selfridges in the Trafford Centre. So that was such a nice event. It was a styling appointment to try out the new Kronos straightener. GHD has literally been my go-to hair like styling tool for the longest time. I've had the original GHD straighteners since the first time I straightened my hair basically. I think my mum actually introduced me to them when I was like a teenager and I started straightening my hair and yeah, I just got my first pair and then I've had them for so long. It was so nice to go and try out the new straighteners. I just got back from my boyfriend's as well this evening and, and I had a parcel to open and I've gone and opened it. It is the Kronos straightener. So they've sent me one for myself to use and get the hang of. These compared to the original ones that I already had, are so much better like they glide through your hair so smoothly they were perfect for curling as well i don't usually curl my hair with straighteners but i'm definitely going to try out a few new techniques with this and hopefully i'll get the hang of it because i think the lady who did my hair was called emma and she was so lovely and she gave me so many good tips so i am going to try out curling my own hair with the straighteners and see how it goes. Selfridges, they do offer GHD appointments. So they're all dry styling appointments and I think it's 20 pounds for short hair and then 30 pounds for long hair. And you can use it as an opportunity to try any of the tools out. So if you're thinking you wanna get one of the curlers and you don't know which curler is best for your hair, you could go and ask them to show you sort of different techniques and get your hair fully done using the curler of your choice. And then you can sort of see how it goes and if you wanna purchase that tool for yourself. Today, I've just been at my friend's house. So it was really nice to catch up with her and we made a banana bread. 
So I feel like it's been a wholesome Saturday. So next week is a really exciting week. I have an event next week in London and I'm so excited for it. So I'm spending a couple of days down in London with my mum and I'm going to see some friends down there. So I thought maybe I'll vlog that and that could be an exciting couple of days to vlog. Another thing I was going to mention is that I've seen a clip of me going into Lululemon while I was in the Trafford Centre. So they kindly sent me a gift card to treat my Myself to a new set so I've heard so many things about the Align range at Lululemon and I did try it out and I'm sorry this colour this colour had to come home with me like I'm sorry I don't actually have that many pink items in my wardrobe but the colour of this was so nice and I just thought for summer this is going to be perfect I feel like the Align range for me is more of like an everyday kind of like running errands doing work kind of outfit just because it's very comfortable, it's very flattering and it's mainly made for like Pilates or yoga which I don't do a lot of. I tend to do a lot more like high intensity gym workouts so I feel like this for the gym isn't going to be my like first choice but definitely for everyday wear. I'm going to be loving wearing this I already know. So I picked the Align Tank up in the pink in the black and in the i think it's charcoal gray i want to say guys these vests are so so flattering and then i also picked up the matching leggings for the black one and the gray one so i will be featuring those over on my instagram and tiktok if you want to see like how they fit and everything i'm really impressed like i've not actually tried lululemon before and i'm so impressed with the quality of it and i feel like i am very picky with my active wear so the active wear is like 10 out of 10 from there so yeah i think that is everything from this week maybe you're all having a a lovely day whatever day it is you're watching this and hopefully you'll see a vlog next week of me being down in London thank you for watching as always and I'll catch you later bye